Back in 2013, Sky launched a streaming video service called Now TV to rival Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. Alongside the new service, they launched a box that offered an affordable way for people who didn't already have a compatible device to view the service. Now, Sky didn't build their own streaming video device. They rebranded a Roku LT and sold it for a considerably lower price of just $9.99. For this price, it was an absolute steal. £10 got you 720p Wi-Fi equipped streaming video box that supports all the main catch-up features, including BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, All4 and Demand 5. Now, Sky didn't do this because they're nice. They expect you to subscribe to their service. However, even though you'll need a Sky account, you don't actually have to subscribe to anything in order to use the non-Sky services. But wait, it gets better. You may have heard of Plex, a streaming media system for your film and TV collection. Well, it's possible to install Plex onto the Now TV box and use it as a very affordable Plex client. Now we're in 2015, the nice folks at Sky decided the old white Now TV box needed a refresh. Enter the new black Now TV box, which comes with a number of upgrades. It's now based on the Roku 3, which means it supports 1080p video, has an Ethernet socket, a micro SD card, a USB socket, and a much faster processor. Along with the bump in specs, we also get a bump in price, but it's only $14.99, which represents excellent value for money when you consider a Roku 3 is £70 plus. Just like the old Now TV, you get a power supply, remote control, and an HDMI cable included in the package, so you can be up and running in just a few minutes. If you walked into a high street electrical store, you'd probably be lucky to get an HDMI cable on its own for $14.99, so this really is good value. Setup is quite straightforward. You'll need to create a Now TV account, but don't worry, it won't cost you anything. The interface on the Now TV is the same as the old one. It can be somewhat confusing and it's not always easy to see what is currently selected on the screen. However, it doesn't take too long to get used to the layout and everything is nice and responsive. As before, we get BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, All4 and Demand5 as standard. And, as before, with a little fiddling, you can install Plex. There's no Netflix or Amazon apps, as on the Roku 3, but Sky are trying to sell you their own service here, and for the price, you can't have everything. First thing you'll notice is that the new Now TV box is black compared to the old box's white, which looks much nicer when it's sat beside your television, unless you have a white TV. It's also more curved compared to the square design of the original. While the micro SD slot and USB sockets are nice, they aren't actually used on the Now TV. You'll have to stump up the extra cash for the Roku 3 for those to work. The Ethernet socket is, however, fully functional and provides a much more stable and consistent experience for streaming video compared to Wi-Fi. I recommend using it if you can. The remote doesn't have the Netflix or Amazon buttons of the Roku 3, nor the handy headphone jack, but it's a small and comfortable remote that does the job well. It's a standard infrared remote, so most universal remotes should have no problems replacing it. Sky offer movie, entertainment and sports packages. Once purchased, these can be viewed not only on the Now TV box, but also via the Now TV apps across many other devices. The movies package is $9.99 per month, and Sky currently have 1,000 plus movies with the promise of up to 16 premieres each month. The entertainment package is $6.99 per month, and offers TV shows from 13 different channels that are not available on Freeview, as well as over 250 box sets. The sports package is offered as a $6.99 day pass, a $10.99 week pass, or a $31.99 month pass. It allows you to view live programming from all seven of Sky's sports channels. Other content includes iPlayer, ITV Player, All4 and Demand5 catch-up services, which all work very well and give you a very wide range of available viewing. A YouTube app is also available. This is made even better by a little-known YouTube TV feature, which allows you to browse videos on the YouTube app on your mobile device and then watch them on your television through the Now TV. A Spotify app is also available, but you will require a Spotify Premium subscription to use it. If you want to be able to watch videos stored on a computer on your home network, then install Plex, and the Now TV does a superb job of serving up content.
If you want a box to watch your choice of streaming services, then get a Roku 3 instead. That way you can choose from Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and even Sky's Now TV. If you don't already have a Now TV and you'd like an easy, cheap way to receive catch-up services and run Plex, buy a Now TV because for £14.99 it's a no-brainer.